howdy y'all new calandra album let's go it's gonna be a little bit of like an asmr reaction because it is almost midnight but i'm not gonna to go to bed until i have said my piece about this album which i sure i'm sure i can't talk is going to be at least very good so we shall see i love calandra i didn't do a reaction video to the the line album but I listened to it on my own time, and I wish I did a reaction video to it, because it is amazing. I think it is a 10 out of 10 masterpiece folk album. It is incredible. The melodies, the song choices, the harmonic progression of everything, it's so good. Orders, maybe one of my favorite songs of all time. Wonderland 2, possibly. Track 1, I Am, we have a stop motion video which if you don't know is my number one favorite form of, am I white or is this like, I mean, yes, but like, do you see how, I think it's just the video that's making me look so white. Obviously I'm white, but like this white dude, like, like come on. All right, we rocking the Mickey Mouse shirt. Let's go. I love stop motion so much. My goodness we are we are off to such a strong start this is so charming look at the little fuzzy faces this is so beautiful dude oh i'm not following what's happening in this video i'm just looking at how beautiful it looks any meaning is just going over my head just letting you all know This is so beautifully made. Now I look extra white, dude. So it started off with like C minor, E flat, A flat, F, F minor, and it just kind of milked that the whole time. And then at some point it changed to E major. I mean, sorry, C major. I'm hitting all the wrong keys, dude. which creates an interesting little Picardy third here at this major chord. Let's check it out, track two, Untie the Knot. I always thought that I had to endure Carry the weight of it all But lately I felt the change Good chord. Good chord, good chord, good, 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 good chord, good chord. Ooh. Change the color of the keyboard a little bit to match the the sea green on the album art. Oh my goodness, dude. This... They know how to write such insanely good chord progressions. This album so far, from the, the tracks I've heard, Are You Ready, State of the World, I Am, and this one, it feels so different from the line in terms of atmosphere. You can tell it's the same group, obviously. But the atmosphere feels more mythical interesting that chord progression was great this is this album's amazing so far i love this i can't freak out too much because it is 1202 a.m and people are sleeping so we've got so we're kind of just chilling let me go from this chord at the end of that progression, up to here. This is like a... Now I've heard these two. So these will be re-listens. But these two tracks are great. I like State of the World a little better. But are you ready? Still good. This song is weird because like it's 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 okay, but I think it's one of my least favorite Colanda tracks. I did videos on this in State of the World, by the way. If you want to see my first reactions and like thoughts on these, go check that out. I still feel about the same 
for that one. I'm going to get this spec off my glasses before my undiagnosed OCD kicks in and I go insane. Be right back. I should get that checked or something because, dude, I, I'm weird about so many things. Like, I'm a, I'm a neat freak. I hate getting, like, dirt on my hands and being indoors. If I'm outside, fine. I'll be outside, I'll be doing yard work or whatever. Get my hands dirty, I don't care. If I'm inside, can't have dirty hands inside. No. No, I get my hands dirty, they're getting washed. I wash my hands a lot, they get dry. Gotta put lotion on them. My hands are always lotioned up. it has gotta be something wrong with me for that, dude. Or is it just normal? I don't know. Am I crazy? Let's keep going. This song is amazing, though. This is... This is my favorite out of the four... Four... That I've heard from this album. I cried in this reaction video, if you want to go... Watch that. <laughs> it's great. We're not scrolling. Thank you, Spotify. Oh my goodness. Ah, 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 ah. Eh, 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 eh. Great job, whoever put these into music's match. That's not how you do it. Oh, we got more lyrics. Was this a was this a single? I do not recall this being a single. Ten months ago, it was. This was the first single. How did how did I how did I miss this one? That's weird. I missed this completely. So I haven't heard all the singles from this. Banger. Good. It's it's already good. Ooh. Ooh, it's a little skippy. Okay. This is real interesting. This might be my favorite, actually, from the half of the album that I've heard so far. That was okay. Um, it started off really, really good. I loved it. I loved the build. I just think it didn't really do much throughout. It just it felt a little long. Not necessarily in a bad way. I was just kind of vibing. But like, little, little, little bit. Little bit long. Might be something I just get used to with time. So far, halfway through, my thoughts. Even if the second half of this is amazing. This album still won't be quite as good as the line. I think that album is perfect. Flawless. Not a single skip. With here, I might skip Are You Ready. I might skip the second half of this song. I don't know. Not quite feeling it. But it's also not bad. It's like sitting squarely in the, yeah, this is okay kind of middle position. You know? Let's keep going. There was something weird there. There was a weird chord there for, or a weird note there for like a half a second. Y'all gonna develop that? That'd be interesting. There it is. They are developing it. Good. See the album title? Ha ha ha. Oh, I'm so glad they're we're developing that weird chord. That's great, dude. Ooh, get those get those strings in there. Yeah, dude. What is it with? This year specifically, and so many bands using a lot of Phrygian Dominant. It's happened a lot, it's kind of surprising. This is so interesting. I love this vibe. The Phrygian Dominant plus the, the heavy weighty strings give it, to, it gives it a very, very like Egyptian sort of feel. What's happening? This is the longest track on the album. Wow. 
What a weird chord progression. This one's gonna be a grower. Very interesting throughout. That's so different. That's one thing Calandra always does so well. Even though some of the songs on here haven't hit as much as the entirety of the line, I think that the harmonic progression of things is still really, really cool. It's still very interesting. And the atmosphere that they create with their music is still really interesting. And you can close your eyes and you're transported to other worlds and all that kind of stuff. This is so calming. I could legitimately just fall asleep right now. Honk shu me 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 type beat. Oh, oh boy. Milk it. This song is magical. Oh my goodness. Is it crazy to say that an interlude track can be the best song on an album? Well, no, because Bello exists off of Violent Portraits. We all know that's the best song on that album. They're doing my favorite chord progression. We're off to a good start. I love the vocal layering. She's got a lower track of this here. The two upper harmony parts are great, but there's a lower track that's going like... It's a drone note harmony. It's so beautiful. Pushing some soft guitars and no drums. Good choice. Mmm. Da 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 da. That's so beautiful. I'm a sucker for acoustic guitar. I'm finally learning to play guitar, if you didn't know, but I can play a few chords. I'm gonna try to implement some of that into my own original music whenever I make that. That song was beautiful. I have a lot of thoughts that I'll get to after the final track. More acoustic guitar. I remember a time. I remember a time. We all need one another. And I'll see my brother. And we'll forgive each other. Hmm. This is a great choice for an outro track. Little guitar ballad. This album's gonna be a grower, I feel. And even though I personally don't like it, at least on a first listen, as much as the line, I still think it's really, really good. There's just a few parts here and there where I think some things dragged slightly, but that's really the only negatives I've got. And they weren't very prevalent wasn't something that was throughout the whole album on every song it was just a couple here and there the whole like last half was really really good i love the last half better than the first half overall i think this is a really good album it's clearly a tonal shift from the line i'm not sure i've, I've never been one to analyze lyrics because i don't care like lyrics can be amazing they can be cringe it doesn't matter to me what's the songwriting that's what i latch on to even though I am a vocalist, it's kind of weird that I don't care about lyrics as a vocalist. I care about the melodies and how the melodies and harmonies go together or how the, the rhythm, and the, the, I can't talk, how the rhythm flows with this. It's very different from the line. The line was very melodic. All of the songs were very memorable based on their melodies. And here it feels like, um, forgive me for this pun, they were in a different frame of mind when they wrote this album and this sort of feels more personal it feels a little bit smaller in scale it feels a little bit more close to home and it feels a little bit more like they are focusing on the atmosphere and emphasizing that over anything particularly mind-blowing in the melody department they did that with the line, and then instead of trying to top that, 
and write even better melodies and better and better and better and better. They went in a sort of a different direction. And I really, really appreciate that. Because it's not every day that you can always top peak. And when you have such an amazing album like The Line, it's hard to top that. And something like this, I think it's it's almost like a, a big tonal shift from that album. It's in a new direction, maybe not new, but like a different direction than that one. And yeah, it feels more focused on the vibe. And I really enjoy that about this album. I think this is really solid and I'm going to give it banger. This is great. Not my favorite album of the year. I don't think it's going to be top 10, maybe, maybe top 20. Um, but this is a very competitive year for music. This has been an amazing year. And as much as I really appreciate this vibe-focused direction that they're going with more personal and more, like, close-to-the-heart lyrics that you can see, like, it, the ones that stood up to me, obviously, State of the World, and I remember a time, more of that, as much as I really appreciate that, it, it doesn't quite hit as much for me, and that's just my personal opinion not a knock to the band or anything that's that's just me and i like the line better because of that but we'll see what i think about this with, with a few more listens so those are my thoughts let me know what you thought about this album down in the comments below and i appreciate everybody's support as always thank you so much for your financial and or like comment support everything helps every little bit helps so thank you see you in my next video Bye-bye.